being a mentor is not being mentor for the younger generation as a as a coach now teaching them my uh, uh, coaching knowledge uh, and that's the skills uh, not only that you know even um, so many aspects like um, leadership qualities teamwork confidence uh, mindset all these things uh, which i went through for my 20 years uh, how i learned and uh, just to pass them uh, my knowledge and experience um, this is going to be uh, not uh, one off uh, this is going to be um, right throughout uh, the year uh, three times and you know whenever um, i have uh, opportunity free time and uh, what uh, jaffa wants me to i'll come and uh, do my part here and you know just to bring the younger generation to the next level the youngsters have you know um, so many different way you thinking uh, how they share then you know and uh, they can um, they can learn so much from each everyone and um, having that uh, it's easy for the youngsters to uh, go in the ladder passing them my experience and uh, everything and um, give them opportunities uh, where they can learn and uh, try to be whom they want to and you know it's it's um, it's a huge in sri lanka and you know yeah. and people looking at you and uh, trying to do the same thing what what i did uh, as a young kid those days we didn't have any egos and uh, we didn't try to compare each other uh, we play as a team uh, we play as a um, team that you know really bond together and uh, we enjoy other success um, we help each other uh, we never we never complain and you know if when someone is doing really well we appreciate and um, those are the things we value as a, a team game and teamwork that's why we we won so many games that's why we were part of one one team but nowadays um, be different but you know you need to teach them um, differences and you know not to uh, being same person most of the time you know not to compare with others and you know you have different skills and uh, different knowledge but you need to share all these things and you know and be who you are and you know being being a cricketer being a sportsman you got to be humble in this life and um, that's the way forward and you know being honest is most important thing and um, learning from others uh, nothing will cost you but uh, you can learn so much from other people as well and you know uh, try to be the best person who you are it has been there but uh, but now um, generations are different and uh, uh, playing cricket is different there are so many uh, t20 games uh, one day cricket and uh, you are playing for the team you are playing for franchise you know and um, you have a lot of um, cricket ongoing and um, having all these things and playing as a team it's not easy but the person who has um, everything you know he will play longer and he will uh, being being uh, next person to share everything and you know uh, try to be uh, try to come up in the ladder in sri lanka cricket we need to develop a um, um, domestic cricket and um, uh, our first class cricket uh, school structure we need to develop and you know we need to uh, teach them the the sports is a team game and you know um, and uh, try to be uh, play as a one team and you know at the end you may have individual scores but uh, at the end if you win or lose it goes as a team and you know you need to share everything and you know those are the things as a as a as a team you need to learn and uh, give others to come up in the ladder and you know and it's passing a knowledge to someone is something you can give 
and uh, learn from them. As a uh, cricketing nation, you know, we need to consistent as uh, performance as well. You know, um, winning uh, one tournament and uh, dropping down, it's it's not easy, not uh, bearable. And you know, and uh, we need to play competitive cricket. Like I said, you know, our first class cricket has to be strong, and you know. And um, even the club structure, even school cricket has to be strong. Once you have strong uh, domestic uh, competition and school competition, we need to produce good cricketers. When you produce good cricketers, it's giving opportunity uh, for all the youngsters to come up in the ladder and you know play. And so taking cricket serious and you know uh, perform as a team. And uh, you need to have a um, base uh, for all these things to uh, achieve uh, as a team. If you take Sri Lanka cricket, we have so much talent and uh, we are winning a lot of games uh, and uh, because of the talent um, and uh, we need to um, develop uh, cricketers into a next level like you know motivate them it's it can be financial benefit you know uh, or taking care of them these are the things uh, being uh, Sri Lanka administrators to take care of all the young cricketers but people like um, Wanindu Hasaranga has been come up really well he has been performing really well and Dasun Chanaka has to come up uh, as a captain and as a batsman, he has to develop his uh, batting skill next to another level. And um, people like Avishka, uh, Kusal Mendes has been playing really well. But uh, everybody has a role and um, you have to be um, committed to it and you know, you have to be consistent all the time and you know, uh, give 100% for the country and uh, for the um, Sri Lanka cricket as well. It's a good test match between both parties and you know, both teams. You know they played up to uh, last ball and you know uh, played played good cricket. But um, as a uh, cricketing nation, um, playing uh, five test match in a year it's not enough. You know you need to play more test matches and you know they need to get confidence. So they played uh, this test match after after five months. So you can't expect them to uh, come really good, but they, they perform really well. Um, especially Angelo, Chandimal, Kosa, they played really well. But everybody had had a hunger to uh, play for the final Test Championship. So they gave 100%. I'm really proud of them, and you know, at least our Test cricket has come up in a. A different level and uh, I'm sure that um, they will play well for Sri Lanka cricket. I look at it in a different way because uh, the amount of cricket these guys are playing right now is huge you know and uh, only only few only few player cricketers fast bowlers can play all the formats like um, test cricket in one day and T20 if you have a good physics, if you have a good uh, mindset or your skills uh, or your um, structure. Um, but all of that, you know, being a, being a fast bowler, you need to have discipline and you need to train as well. You know, if you train properly, um, if you have a desire, I think uh, you can play a long time. But you need to take care of yourself. It's fast bowling is not an easy job. You need to do everything. You know, um, you need to do um, strength and strength uh, conditioning, and uh, even running, even skills. When it comes to skills, you have to bowl number of overs more than that. You know, you can't uh, ask bowlers to bowl five overs and stop. You know, thirty balls. But you know, you need to bowl more overs, and you know. But most important thing is um, you taking care of yourself. You know. I always say that being a fast bowler is you got to sacrifice so many things and if you can do that if you train into your limitation I think you have you can play a longer version and um, it's injuries also you know you need to take care of your injuries and you know but especially for a fast bowler you never play 100% fit I used to bowl uh, one and a half hours maybe say maybe 15 overs uh, 12 overs but uh, but you when you compare those days and now it's totally different you can't ask 
uh, younger generation to bowl one and a half hours because you play a um, lot of cricket, uh, not only uh, bowling, you know, you got to do batting, you got to do fielding, you know, Correct. and your skill level has to be really good at it, you know. Correct. If you take most of the teams, now everybody can feel, everybody can bat, every can, you know, special, specialized bowlers, but you need to train everything. If you're bowling at least in a, say, if you bowl three days in a row or two days in a row, at least one day you have to bowl at least more than eight to nine overs, like, you know, just to get your um, muscle tone and, you know, you need to have a muscle memory as well and, you know, and uh, you need to learn your uh, skills as well.